So, let's try. So, if I click this toggle LED, then you would notice that the LED turned on and turned off. Then, let's try turning it off. So, it's it now turns off. On. Off. On. Off. Now, if we try the RGB LED control, like this green, and as you can see, the color of the LED, RGB LED changes to green, to blue, and then to red. So, using the user interface that I have written through the PyQt library, then I am able to change the color of the RGB LED. Now, let's try to move the position of the servo motor using this dial gauge. So, as you can see, if I adjust the changes, uh, if I adjust the dial gauge position, then the LED position changes also. And as you can see, the data that is coming from my laptop is being transferred through the USB serial communication port. And I am able to control the electronic components that I have here using only the graphical user interface that I have written using PyQt. Would you like to know how I did this project? Then let's start exploring. Hi! Welcome to Donsky Tech. In this video, I am going to share with you how you can control your electronic components using the serial communication protocol by using the Arduino framework. In this project, I have here my Arduino Uno board and several components attached to it such as this servo motor, an LED, and an RGB LED. And inside my laptop, I'm going to create a user interface or a graphical user interface that I would be able to use to control this component and then the message will come through the serial po communication protocol. So let's try running the program. So this is the program that I have here right now and I have used the PyQt library in developing this program. And as you can see, I have here a button called the toggle LED and some RGB LED control, radio boxes, and a dial application or widget. They call this widget in PyQt. And using this uh, widget, then we're going to control the movement or the colors of our LED. So now, before we discuss the nitty-gritty details of this project, let's go first for the uh, project design. And let's see how we can use the Arduino Serial Communication Protocol so that we can control our electronic components or circuits. So in this uh, diagram, you would notice that I have here my Arduino Uno board. and. Uh, the attached components like the RGB, the LED, and the servo is connected to it. And I have here my laptop. And inside my laptop, I created a Python, PyQt, or PyQt graphical user interface app. And whatever uh, user interface uh, event that I have done here, like toggling the button, will be reflected back into the LED component, into the components attached to my Arduino Uno through the USB serial or the serial communication protocol. So for example, if I click this toggle LED, then the message would go into the serial port and then received by the Arduino and it will toggle the LED. Same also with the RGB LED. If I click the green button here, radio button, it will go into the serial port 
and then it will update the color of the RGB LED. For the servo position, it follows the same principle. It, uh, it goes into the USB serial cable and then update the position of my servo. So the message exchange between my laptop and my Arduino Uno is using the serial port. So for the laptop, I'm using the Pi Serial library to send the serial messages. And for the Arduino Uno, I just use the uh, serial port so that I can parse the messages coming from the uh, laptop that I have here. So that's all for the overall project design of this simple project. Now, let's go into the wiring diagram. So for the wiring diagram, it's actually simple. Just hook up the RGB, the LED, and the servo into your Arduino Uno. And then just follow the uh, wiring diagram here so that you can uh, follow along with this project. So now let's discuss how the code works. So I have two projects here that I have written to control the components through the serial port or the serial communication protocol. So the first one is the Python project which I use to write or show the graphical user interface that will control our project. And the other one is the Arduino project that I have written so that it will control the components connected to it. Uh, both of this project is available in my GitHub repository so you can take a look if you wanted to download or check the program. So let's start first with the, uh, the GUI serial application. So I'm using the uh, PyQt or PyQt library in developing this project and I needed the Py serial since we are going to send messages through the serial port so I'm using the Py serial library. Next, uh, I only have one file here which is the serial control component that py and the project really is simple so this is the uh, the resulting uh, program that will be created when you run this project so let's try uh, going through the the different parts of the program first one is we import the several serial library and the PyQt or PyQt widgets. And as you can see, there are several uh, PyQt or PyQt widgets that I have used in this project. Then the program that I have written here follows the MBC or the Model View Controller uh, architecture wherein we separate the different parts of our program so that it would be easy to create or write the program. So, the first one is the model class. And as you can see, the model class uh, is a class that will represent the values that we have in our project, such as the current value of the LED, the current color of the RGB, and the current servo position. So, using this class, it, this, this serves as the repository of the current values that we have. And... The user interface that we have here will just update this value of the class. So that's really is how simple this Arduino model is. Next, we have this Arduino controller. So this Arduino controller is the one that links the model in our and in our view, which is the GUI that you're seeing in here. If you're not familiar with the MBC protocol, then head over into the uh, write up for this project and go to my blog and I have a small uh, description on how the MBC works. So in the Arduino controller class, we just pass in the model and we initiate the serial connection. So whatever the value of your COM port, just change it here and we set the baud rate into the default which is the 9600. And from here, you would see several uh, methods that handles the uh, GUI uh, event. So say for example, I click the LED toggle button here, which is the, this button. Once I do this, then it uh, this function is called. And as you can see, I just update the model and then call the toggle LED. If we check the toggle LED, 
here is the toggle LED. You would notice that I just updated the value of the LED state. Similar also with the RGB LED color. So the RGB LED color here, I just update also the model for the RGB LED. Same is true also for the servo position. So in the servo position, what I'm doing is just send or update the servo position of the model class. Now, once all of these uh, events is called, then we need to send a serial uh, communication messages so that the, we can receive it through our Arduino Uno board. So I have here a function called send serial message. And in that send serial message, I'm just writing the message that I am receiving and encoding it so that it would be easy for the Arduino to decode. So for example, uh, if you take a look at the terminal that I have here, and let's try running. If I click the toggle LED, then you would notice that there is a message here called toggle LED and the message is LED pulse. Let's try again. It's now true. Same also for the RGB LED. So let's try red. So, if it's red, I'm sending RGB1. If it's green, it's RGB2. And blue, it's RGB3. For the dial position or the servo motor, let's try moving it. And as you can see, the message that I have here, uh, it starts with the servo and the number of the uh, dial gauge. So, the dial gauge starts from 0 up to the 180. Since I only have a 180 degree servo, so whenever I change or uh, how do you call this one, uh, adjust the dial gauge position, then a, a serial messages is being sent to our Arduino Uno board. So that's how the controller uh, works for our project. Now, let's go over to the view. So the the class that I have written is called the Pi Controller window. It uses the PyQt or PyQt widgets. So as you can see in here in the init init, I just created the UI for our project which corresponds to this one. And in the create UI display private function, I have just created the different user interface. So for example, this label corresponds to this one. And then the LED group box corresponds to this one. And then the button group, which is the radio button, this one corresponds to this one. So you can check the documentation of the PyQt library if you're not familiar on how to implement the PyQt. But it's actually easy. So uh, as I mentioned, just check the documentation for this blog if you need to refresh uh, or understand how I created this one since I explained it fairly easily in that blog. Next, once we have this uh, user interface, then how do we send the message into our model or how do you send the messages using the serial communication port? There is what we call as the uh, change event here. So for example, if we check the servo, die, servo position and change it, then we need to call this method called handle servo position change. And this is the handle servo position change. And as you can see, I'm just calling the controller. And then I'm calling the handle servo position change and then just passing in the value that I have set from my user interface. And it's the job of the controller to update the model and send the serial communication messages. So that's how really how the MBC works for this particular project. Now, for the main part, I just initialize everything like the model, the controller, and the application. And then we just show the graphical user interface and then run the main function. So that's how uh, I have structured the Python application. Now, let's go into the main.cpp or the Arduino Uno, Arduino Uno program that I have created. I have used the platform IO, uh, IDE in creating the project. So, I'm using the Visual Studio Code. 
If you're not familiar with Platform IO, I have a blog that I have written also on how to use this uh, particular uh, BS Code extension. So there's only uh, one file which is the main.cpp and for the platform.ini, I just use the servo library to be able to control the servo motor. So in the main.cpp, what you can do in here or what you can see here uh, is that I just import the Arduino and then I have created some buffer sizes so that once we receive the serial messages, then uh, we're going to parse it and send some LED setup like the LED pin to where it is connected, the RGB LED also, and then the servo pin. And I have some functions here that I have forward declared. So this is the process message, the set color, and the move servo. The process message is where we parse the messages coming from our uh, Python application. And then the set color is we set the RGB and the move servo is where we set the servo position. In the setup class, we just initialize the serial monitor and then add some timeout and then initialize also some of the uh, components that we have like the LED and then the RGB and initialize the position of the servo to zero. Now, in the loop, we just continually uh, check if there is messages coming from the serial port and if a message comes in, then we extract the data until we receive the terminating character which is the slash n. Once the, 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 the bytes is received or the message is received, what we're doing is just pa parse or process the message. So in the process message, you would see here that I'm checking what message was received. So for example, it's R is it RGB, is it LED, or is it servo? So once we have determined uh, what particular uh, message was received, and then we just set the current value of the uh, RGB, for example, this one, and then the LED state, we just save it, and then check if it's true or false. And then for the servo position, we just extract the position and then set the servo position into the variables that we have created. Once the message is processed and received, so we need to reset the buffer so that we are ready to receive another set of messages. And then we set that the message complete is uh, variable is true. Once the message complete is true, then what we can do is we can uh, activate the components that we have. So for example, this is the digital write. And then we also set the color of the RGB using the set color. And then we also move the servo to a certain position. So let's check how the other part of the function works. So I've, we have already discussed the process message. For the set color, we just call the analog write functions and then set the value of the red, green, and the blue pin. And for the move servo, we just set the servo position to some uh, fixed position using the servo motor that right. So basically, that's how the, uh, the program works for both the Python GUI application and our uh, Arduino program. So using these two programs, then you can take advantage of the uh, serial communication protocol uh, in your IoT project so that you can control your electronic circuits. So for example, you wanted to create a simple Python GUI desktop application that uh, will be controlled by your laptop, then it's quite easy by using the serial port and using the PyQt or PyQt uh, library in drawing your user interface. So that's how the code works. So the code for this project, including the write-ups, is available in my GitHub repository and my blog. So if you want to check it out, then go to the description of this video. I hope you learned something 